Hi, I'm outside a cafe at the Google office in Mountain View, California, and we're about to see how guerrilla usability testing with as few as five users can help you find up to 85% of the core usability problems in your app. Come on, let's go take a look. Thank you for stopping by. I'm working with a client on a mobile application. And in a minute, I'll show you the application and I'll ask you some questions about it. It'll take about 10 minutes. As you go through the application, I want you to think aloud, to voice whatever you're thinking or feeling as you look through it. Please be honest, this is a test of the application, not of you. All right. Time out. Guerrilla usability testing is a lot of fun. And it's one of the most effective tools you have to improve the quality of your app or website. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's an app, a website, a remote control, or a door. Usability simply means that people can use the thing for its intended purpose. And here's one fun and simple way to conduct guerrilla usability testing. Go to a fairly popular cafe, ask people to test your app for 10 minutes, and then give them a small treat as a thanks. It's a great way to spend an hour. OK, time in. The great news is that you only need to talk to five users to find 85% of the core usability problems. Your most important usability problems are easy to spot for people who are new to your application and difficult for you to spot because you no longer have fresh eyes. You are too close to the product to know how real people perceive it for the first time. Jacob Nielsen is a usability testing pioneer who led extensive research to arrive at the magic five users number. It turns out that you learn a lot from the first person you talk to, a little less from the next, and so forth. After the fifth user, you're wasting your time by observing the same findings repeatedly but not learning much new. You can use our ready-made template to customize your survey and print out a sign for the cafe. Next, decide who will go. One or two people is the perfect number. You don't want to have more than three people because it may make your tester feel uncomfortable. Everyone involved in your product should go at some point. This includes your designer, developer, product manager, executive, customer service, people, etc. You'll want to choose a nice reward to give to your testers, like a gift card to the cafe or buy them a drink or dessert. People who are alone are easy to ask. And remember, after five people, you're done. The think aloud method is critical for getting inside a user's head. It means asking the user to speak out loud everything they are thinking. For example, they should be saying things like, hmm, this looks like a news app. I wonder how I can get it to show me the sports news. Maybe if I tap here, that's where I think it might let me select the category. Oh, that loaded pretty slowly, etc. Be sure to take good notes of what people say. Some clear patterns will emerge from the feedback you get. Back home, you can fix these usability problems, and what's critical is that you then come back to the cafe to validate that users no longer face these issues. All right, well, I think we're done. So now that we're finished, do you have any questions for me? No, I, I thought it was uh, interesting. I hope the feedback is helpful. Thank you so much. And now it's your turn. You now have a new tool in your belt to make your app even more awesome. Go on and try this out in the real world. You can customize our template and questionnaire to suit your app. I'm Boris Masis with the Google Developer Relations team. Thanks for watching.